All right, guys, so welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, we're looking at a pair of headphones that has a hearing test built in that you have to take in the app for it to actually be able to adjust, to be able to pick up frequencies that you can hear and that you can't hear, and then just give you this ultimate sound experience. Okay, before I even say the model of the headphones, look at the cover of the box. When's the last time you've looked like that listening to headphones? I mean, like, I think right off the bat when I saw the box, I thought that, like, whoa, this is this is a little much. This is overselling it. But maybe, maybe they're just so incredible that that's the look I'm going to have when I try these. Okay, so first off, I want to point out that these are Bluetooth wireless. Um, and they also are capable of playing the aptX coding. So you're going to get really good audio just based off of that alone. All right, so the premise of what these do, it's kind of like the neurophones. The neurophones, you know, send the signal into your ear and your ears kind of react to the sound and so it kind of tries to base a sound off that. Well, these, you actually have to walk through a hearing test within the app so that you can tell it what frequencies you can hear and then tell it when you can't hear it anymore. These retail, now I'm kind of confused at how much they retail because on the site it says $400, but it says they're on sale for $300 everywhere else i've seen it they're 300 so we're gonna say these are 300 dollars pair of headphones now 300 dollars puts it right up there with the bose qc35 and the sony 1000x m3s so you have a lot of competition in that price range even the new surface headphones then you have to be pretty good to be a somewhat no-name company to come out and charge that amount of money they worked with engineers to design the headphones. They worked with doctors to be able to go through and get the hearing tests, basically give you the sound that your ears can hear the best. All right, so opening the box, the first thing you see is a really nice flat hard case. Now, the reason I say it's a flat hard case is because of these having active noise canceling, they at least want to be able to appeal to the travelers. So if you've noticed that Sony and Bose, um, their headphone cases are flat as well. On the outside of the case, you can see Adira's logo and you can see their uh, name right underneath. But inside you see a quick start guide and then you actually see a little pouch that's in here to hold all of the accessories because there are quite a bit. All right, so first off you get the little carabiner that you can hook onto your case uh, to be able to hook it onto a bag if you want to do that. I never use these things, but I do appreciate when companies decide to put these in here. And then you get the quarter inch adapter if you do want to use these wired and you want to plug them into like a home theater setup or maybe a mixing board, you have that capability with this adapter. And then you have the airline adapter. So this is the one thing in the box, whenever I see it, I could say that probably 98% of the time, this never gets used. All right, so and as far as cables go, you have your micro USB cable for charging. Now it does say that there are three different levels of battery life. If you use these wired and you use the active noise canceling, you're going to get 65 hours of battery life. If you use these regular and you're using active noise canceling with the Bluetooth and the Audira effect, you're gonna get 35 hours. Now, if you're just using Bluetooth and the Audira effect and you're not using noise canceling, you're going to get 45 hours. These ratings for the battery life is really impressive. You also get a three and a half millimeter cable. Now this is if you want to use these wired um, and the only mode you can really use is active noise canceling in wired mode. So now we're going to look at the headphones, but before we do that, let me kind of explain the premise behind these. Now, Audira, what they're doing is they're giving you a full-blown hearing test. Like, you have to go through every single frequency and basically keep listening until you can't hear the tone anymore, and then you tell it that you can't hear it. So it knows where your limits are for each frequency range. And what that's doing is after your hearing test is done, it gives you the Audira effect. You can completely apply it. And the first time that I tried it, I thought these headphones sounded awesome awful like it was way too bright there was no lows it just wasn't exciting it was just overbearingly bright and i just didn't like them i thought this is going to be a huge bust i didn't like them at all but at the bottom it suggests because it gives you percentages you can use you know 50 percent 75 percent 100 percent of the effect on top of what normal sounding headphones would do and I found that the sweet spot was 50%. If you mix 50% of the frequencies that you can hear and then the 50% that the headphones are doing on their own, 
it sounded incredible. The bass started to come forward more, and the mids and the trebles still stayed fairly forward, uh, but the bass just blended in better. So again, with these percentages, if you don't like 50% and you want it to be more geared towards what they think your ears can hear the best, then you can go up closer, 75%, whatever, to 100, and just kind of go that way. If you are a bass head, and that is what you're looking for, I just don't see it with these. But again, I do see these on the base level of the Sony 1000X M3 and the Bose QC35s. So it's in line with its competition. These to me have a lot of features of the Bose QC35 line. Uh, the ear cups is the pretty much the exact same pleather-ish material. There is a fabric headband underneath um, where it is leather on the top and you can see Audera branding on the top of the headband. Um, as far as branding goes, you just simply see Audera right underneath the swivel part of the headset and then you see Audera's logo on the ear cups. It is really minimal. These are all black. They're not going to stand out by any means. And most people who travel don't want headphones that are going to stand out. Now, as far as the adjustments, when you pull them down, the inner piece here is metal. It is sturdy. These headphones are extremely bendable, stretchable, and just really no concerns as far as build quality on my part. It is a lot of plastic. It is very light. So at first I was thinking these may be fragile, but after wearing them and after bending them and pulling them, they're okay. Um, you do have controls on both sides. Uh, the ones on your right side, it's pretty minimal. You have your micro USB port uh, for charging, and then you have the switch for the active noise canceling. And on the left side, you have your input for the headphone jack, Right above that, you have your power switch, um, which also puts it into pairing mode the first time you turn it on. And then above that, you have your volume up, volume down, and then your main control button in the middle. Now, the main one in the middle is the play, pause, and it is also the skip. So if you want to skip forward, you tap it twice. If you want to go backwards, you, you hit the button three times. These, to me, didn't get extremely loud. Um, and again, these are made by doctors, so maybe they're just trying to keep you from blasting your eardrums. I'm not sure, but I do know that it keeps it at a reasonable level. I don't want to say low, but for the people that want to just blast these things and just have them, you know, extremely loud, you're not going to get that from here. That's with turning it just all the way up. Um, again, it is pretty loud, but it's not extremely loud. Again, I would put these slightly over the Bose QC35, but I would not put these over the Sony 1000X M3. But they are doing more than what the other competition's doing, and so I feel like you have a little more wiggle room in getting the sound that you want. Comfort-wise, these you can seriously wear all day. I think the only thing is maybe the warmth from the pleather of the ear pads will get you over time, but as far as putting them on and just, you know, worrying about this hurting or this, you know, there's none of that. So overall, $300 is a lot of money for a pair of headphones. Uh, but if you're somebody who travels a lot, if you're somebody that wears headphones all throughout the day, these will definitely do the trick. Um, if you're a bass head, these will probably not do the trick. But if you like clarity, you like mid-range, you like a more overall balanced sound with maybe just a little bit of punch, this is a great pair of headphones. Um, but if you are interested in buying these, I'm going to put a link below. Again, for $300, if you're in the market for Bose and you're in the market for the Sonys, you can save yourself $50 and you can get technology that's not in either one of these and get a different kind of experience. So anyway, guys, that is my review of the Audera AO1s. Uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you guys so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.